الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد It's important for us to recognize our responsibilities and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our many shortcomings with our children and with our wives and our parents and all those people who have rights over us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has charged us with authority over others. And that's a sunnah law that the man is the head of his household. The woman is in charge of her children, and especially the woman is the first madrasa. She's the, the first school for the children to learn. As they always say, the mother tongue. What is the mother tongue? It's what the mother has taught her. It's the language that the mother has taught the children. That's their first tongue that they hear in the household. So it shows us that we all have a responsibility that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has entrusted us with. But what is the consequence if we're not if we don't take those duties responsibly and we don't take those duties these duties seriously as there are many as they so called as they call them deadbeat dads deadbeat fathers those fathers who only by birthright had a relationship with their children they were responsible for having relations with a woman possibly in the bounds of marriage possibly not and then they left the children and they don't spend from their wealth to take care of the children. They don't spend time with the children if they're in the presence of the children. And they don't keep relations and ties with their children. And this is a sickness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our shortcomings. And forgive us for all of our sins. And help us all to be better with our responsibility of those we're charged in authority over. And in this regard, in the hadith, the hadith an Ma'kil ibn Yasar, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, qala sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, ma min abdin yastari'ihi Allahu ra'iyatin, yumutu yumul, yumutu yum, yumutu wa huwa ghashun, لرعيته إلا حرم الله عليه الجنة متفق عليه. This is a very stern warning from the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. And the hadith of Ma'kul ibn Yasar رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that I heard the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم say there isn't a slave that Allah has entrusted him with responsibility, then he dies the day when death overtakes him, and he had cheated those people who he was in authority over. Except that Allah has prohibited him from paradise. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ that shows us the seriousness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings with our children and with our wives and with our parents and so forth. But especially those, as is mentioned in the hadith, those people you're responsible for. You're responsible, as if you're a man, you're responsible, and you're married, you're responsible for your wife. And if you have more than one wife, you're responsible for your wives. And if you have children, you're responsible for your children. And that is something Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has entrusted you with. That you have to take care of your family. And for the one who cheats their family by oppressing them, by not taking care of them, by not spending on them, and not taking care of their other needs, possibly their educational needs and whatever needs that they have to be clothed, to be sheltered. And he has the ability to do so. This person is cheating. They're cheating their children. How is it that you can have one, two, three, ten children and you never spend anything on them? How is it that you're going to have these children and you want them to grow up and respect you and love you, but you never had any ties with them, nor did you spend a penny on them? May Allah protect us from this, this sickness. 
The one who does this, however, is promised something. As the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that this person, Allah has prohibited for them paradise. And which one of us wants to be prohibited from paradise? وَعِيَاذَ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ So that's a stern warning to take care of your duties, take care of your responsibilities. And may Allah forgive us of our shortcomings, and may Allah bless us to be better, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere to take care of their duties and responsibilities and meet the rights of one another and the rights of others. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَمَ